there. This is part one of a series of videos to show you how I made this three-legged stool I'm sitting on. Let me give you a better look. It's kind of a fun project. Not real difficult in any way, just a little bit of common woodworking and fairly basic turning. But let's get working on it here and show you how it was done. I hope you enjoy it and maybe make one of your own. I'm going to start working on the seat of the stool. I want a seat that's just about two inches thick, 15 inches in diameter. I have a piece of walnut here I'm going to use. It's 32 inches long, two inches thick, and eight inches wide. I'm going to joint the edge, cross cut it in half into two pieces, glue those jointed edges together, and I'll have a 16 by 16 inch square, or roughly that. Then I'll draw the circle to 15 inches, cut it out a little wider than that on my bandsaw, and put it on the lathe. Time to get to work. need to glue these two jointed edges together and clamp them firmly. Now with the joint nice and tight all the way around, I'm going to let it set up overnight to make sure the glue is well cured, and then I can go back to working on it tomorrow. The glue has had plenty of time to cure, so I have my 16 inch square slab. First thing I'm going to do is take my beam compass and draw a 15 inch circle on here, then I'll take it to the bandsaw and cut it out.
I'm using a straight edge to draw a line with the grain through the center. Then I will use a protractor to make marks at 120 and 240 degrees. Using every second line will divide the blank into thirds. Now I'm drawing a second circle with a radius of 5 inches giving me a diameter of 10 inches. Where the lines intersect at three points of the circle is where I'm going to drill for the legs. I want one of them to be right on the joint so it's in line with the grain. And then every second one is where I will drill for the other legs. I have a length of 3 8 inch ready rod in my drill chuck. I'm using that with my protractor to determine the 75 degree angle I want to use when drilling the holes in the blank for the seat. To make sure I have this line in exactly the same plane for each of the three holes, I've got a vertical line drawing on the end of the blank and then a piece of masking tape on the table with a line marked on it and I just line those up together and that should keep everything in the same plane. Now I'm drilling a shallow one inch recess. The recess will hold my logo coin which will be hiding the 3 8 inch hole that's going to be used to mount the blank on the woodworm screw. And this is the 3 8 inch hole for the woodworm screw. Mounting it on the woodworm screw, I'm using my largest chuck jaws. This will give the widest support I can on the back of the blank. I want the outside edge to have a nice simple rounded shape. I want the top of the seat to be just slightly dish shaped, not too much, maybe a quarter to three eighths of an inch.
using a 1 inch wide round nose scraper. I've made a test piece. This part is one inch in diameter. It's made to fit snugly in the holes. This part out here is two inches in diameter, which is the maximum diameter that I will have for the legs. As you can see, at this angle, there's a gap here. That, of course, is because the angle that I drilled the hole. What I have to do now is, from just short of here, taper this at an angle so that this will sit snugly all the way around. Now I'm getting to where it's going to make me a little nervous. I will be cutting some air in here. And I can't really turn this up to as high a speed as I would like. It seems to have a little bit of a vibration when I do. I've learned a lesson here. This is my first one, so after all, things will be learned as I go along. One thing I've learned is that if I was to do this over again, I would not thin it down so much all the way to here. I would just come around to where this needs to fit and keep this thick. I don't want to get any thinner here than it already is, so I'm going to make a line with a pencil at this edge and then I will just do the rest to that point and leave this as thick as it is now. Hopefully it won't look too bad. I won't know until I get there. And if it does, I'll take the rest off. I'm using a parting tool to define the edge.
and that's looking much better much better in there I forgot to turn the camera back on when doing the last bit of shaping around here sorry about that I used a small easy wood tool scraper to get in there and make that round. And then I did not turn it on to do the sanding. I didn't think you'd need to see that too badly. I've sanded it up to 400 grit here. The flat I had to do with a random orbit sander and I only have sandpaper up to 280 grit. But that's good enough on the bottom, I'm not too worried about that. I'm going to cover this a bit with masking tape to protect it from the jaws, put it back on the woodworm screw and then put finish on from here around the front, on the top rather. And uh, I'll do this later by hand. It's a little tough to do that spinning anyway with the holes there. And then I'll be back and we'll get after the legs. I'm applying Minwax Wipe On Poly with a shop towel. I will apply three coats. It's very, very dry walnut and it's soaking up a lot on this first coat.